grade seven this year, and he has a very big personality uh, some days and a very quiet personality other days, depending on who he's with. He uh, is a very passionate young man about the things he's really interested in. Um, and uh, he is also on the autism spectrum. So he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when he was six years old, mm -hmm. as well as sensory processing disorder. We ran into a lot of issues this school year when we moved from Edmonton to St. Albert. Um, and while that was the trigger for our problems, it wasn't actually the cause. And what I mean by that is that we applied for um, Victoria School of the Arts for Simon, which was his choice. That was the school that he really wanted to attend for their digital media program. We applied for that school when we were living in Edmonton. And Simon was successful in competing for a spot, and uh, so was his younger brother Seth. They were both accepted to Vic. And that process happened in April. And then in summer, we actually moved uh, into St. Albert. Mm -hmm. And I started the process of um, preparing uh, with Victoria School for Simon to start. After we moved to St. Albert, I, uh, which was in the summer, I remembered that there was a clause on the application form uh, for Victoria School uh, that said, uh, if you live outside of the Edmonton Public School District, and your child has special needs that you would need to bring special needs funding or your your home division would have to transfer special needs funding to Vic. And the way it was worded sounded very much like it was just a routine process and we would just need to make sure that it happened. So I did contact the St. Albert um, School Division to try and arrange for that process to occur. And it was after I spoke to the St. Albert School Division that I discovered there was no real process for that to happen. It essentially was never, ever going to happen in Simon's case and was never uh, something that the St. Albert School Division or I suspect any other school division uh, generally does in the case of a school of choice. So then we went to speak with Victoria School about the matter to find out if there was a way to resolve it on their end and there wasn't. They simply said that that was the policy and without that special needs funding accompanying Simon, they were going to rescind his acceptance. But the real kicker for us was that his younger brother's acceptance was not rescinded. So my younger son was still allowed to go because he didn't have a disability but my older son was no longer allowed to go because he did have a disability. And this was one week before school started. And really, the, the point at which I realized that they were allowing one of my kids to go and the other one not to go, and the only difference was a disability, I knew right away that that was a case of clear discrimination. And I was also really upset because I found out that this was not even close to the first time that this had been done to a family, that this happened fairly routinely with students from outside district who had a special need 